Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Nicholas Tucker, and this is Charlie. I'm, I work with uh, Moxie Market, and we're representing the TAP, uh, TAP Systems Inc. and the TAP Strap. <clears throat> the, I did a little research today. This, this is actually my first presentation for TAP, and, and, and we're just starting out. This here is a prototype. The actual production tap straps will be coming out in this fall. So this is kind of a, a pre-launch um, uh, event for us. And we're going out in Silicon Valley and, and in Palo Alto, meeting with people to gain some uh, traction and interest and, and prepare people for when when the, when the, our our production straps become available. Mm -hmm. um, so looking back and looking at, 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 at my research, uh, I found out that the original keyboard was patented in 1868, and uh, the first typewriters were marketed by Remington in 1877. Since then, not a whole lot has uh, evolved, one could say, well, not in a, in a, in a really transformational way. Um, Today, we're looking at our computer devices just changing, though, at a, at a super fast pace, and the input devices not keeping up with it. So you see people who, like Google Glass, you've got screens within your glassware, you've got, um, you, you've got the iPhone, obviously, there's all, of, all the different phones that are changing up. Um, you have a total uh, a change in how you're communicating between each other and, and with, with the web. And this, the tap strap now, allows people to use a Bluetooth device and they communicate with one hand. Uh, this is a one-handed keyboard uh, today uh, as its first iteration. This device can also later be used um, and programmed There'll be a software developer's kit that'll go out. It can be used for all sorts of other uh, inputs uh, throughout. Uh, some of the things, augmented reality, virtual reality, uh, that is possible. Uh, musical instruments. You can even potentially command your drone with your, with your strap. So here we have the strap. The strap is actually works with five accelerometers to know your, your hand is. And the, the language that it uses was developed very purposefully by looking at what letters we use the most and making those the simplest for people to tap. Charlie is uh, very proficient in, in tapping, but uh, I am not so much. So it's going to have to remind me, this is well, N, so these two fingers is N, or T, S, and L. Is that right? Yes. So the, the thumb is A, E, I, O, U. And this all comes together in a game, somewhat kind of like Tetris, that is fun to play, that helps people memorize the, the, the whole alphabet in a quick way so that you can finish off and you'll be just tapping away, writing a note to yourself or sending something to your iPhone with one hand on your shoulder, on your leg, um, you know, on, on your airline tray, wherever you are. So, Charlie, would you like to tap something for me? Yeah, we've got actually we've got a video here that we're gonna we're gonna play and then we'll start doing some tapping. That's awesome. No audio, but it, it's just music anyway. This is the more interesting part. And as you can see, there's a lot of versatility, right? So it's not a question so much of having a fixed keyboard or something stationary in front of you. You have the ability to tap on multiple surfaces.
So I'm going to stop there, and I'm actually going to show you some typing here now. So we are actually going to, um, we're going to be giving away a, a lot of tabs, tab straps to people. And if you sign up for our wait list, you'll be entered in the chance to win a tab strap if you, if you happen to put any social messaging up with the hashtag tap with us, you, there'll be another chance to, to win tab strap. So we're, we're hoping, uh, you know, we, we want people to get these. We want them to try them and to, to use them and to, to learn to, to, to become advocates of them. And on that note, why don't we open it up to questions? This is really fantastic. Any questions from the audience? Yes. How long do you reckon uh, it takes somebody to become proficient with CAP? That's question one. And question two is for somebody like your partner over there, if he's very familiar with this, what kind of typing speeds can you get uh, with this um, device? Um, the, I, the typing speeds were, I've seen people type proficiently. Uh, we have five ambassadors that have been trained up. It takes a, about a week to a week and a half. It depends on how, how, how nimble they, they are. Uh, and um, I don't actually have a number on the speed, so. Yeah, as you can see, I'm, I'm, ta I'm tapping away there. So it doesn't, it doesn't take very long. I, I would say proficiency is more of a determination of how much time and effort you put into it. That's kind of that's kind of how you're going to get uh, the most advantage to it. And they've they've created a, a game that helps you uh, build up your tactical memory, and your dexterity, and your fingers. So, for example, for me, certain letters combinations based on the the fingers that I was using were challenging. But over a period of time, I've built up more dexterity, and it's actually become easier. It is it's picking up the uh, movement of my fingers right now in the air. And so it's it's typing letters. Um, so it is it is pretty sensitive. Uh, but I would say it's, it's pretty effective, and that's the nice thing, is, is once you practice and you get used to it, I think I've spent maybe three full days, actually like an eight-hour day of, of practicing regularly, but it's actually been spread out over a period of time. Who do you think your ideal customer is? Ideal customer for, for, for the tap shop? Um, On-the-go people who are, who are connected and don't want a new, a new way to interact. Does your business model include licensing your alphabet, so to speak, to other device manufacturers? That I don't know. I don't have any answer to. But I can look it up. Can try to find out. Thank you. Uh, as you probably know, like new people, then they don't use separate letters. They use just like signs for whole words, and it's much faster. And then you think that this kind of typing would be to show? Nowadays, because we have something like uh, speech to text, and it's very fast and convenient. And I think that your solution is too slow to, to like to use it in, in everyday. Interesting. It, uh, perhaps I can I can say that uh, our, our our founders uh, can tap our founders tap very very fast, and they they have no problems tapping. I can I can tap. <coughs> Relatively, you know, at, at, at OK speed. I mean, it, it depends. It, it, so, you know, don't you thought about like uh, also just trying to sign like not only fingers but the whole like arm and 